Yeah, every game we've seen so far, whoever starts off on defense for Haven, of course, will dominate. And this might continue the trend here today. Look at the setup from the side of Irvine, though. This is interesting. They're running the Cypher on B. Like, uh, I forget what team did it before. I should have probably written it down because it's so unique. But yeah, they're running the Cypher trips on B. But the player himself is on A. So this is interesting. They're playing complete retake B, but they have the information off-site to make sure no one goes in without them knowing. Which, I gotta silly? say, it's... I mean, that's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I won't even say no, that's bad. No, but the bad. team you're thinking of is Berkeley. I'm gonna take him out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, maybe they read into it. Who knows? It's good aggression, though, from Irvine. They've pushed up short and long A, and they've already gotten a pick off of it. And now, he's backing off into sight, waiting for the aggression, waiting for a commit. And still, they aren't over-rotating either. They've got two players on the other side of the map. And of course, with those Cypher trips, they don't need to worry about B right now. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a back and forth, I feel like. A little bit more of a poking aggression. We're seeing a great rotate. I definitely think we've seen teams on Haven do this more slow push, get a kill, attempt to get a kill at least in um, Berkeley's case, and not really succeed, and then dial it back and rotate to a different site. But I think Berkeley's doing it a lot better. They're playing much more coordinated, and they're realizing as a team what they need to do next. That being said, unfortunately, the Sova went down first, and so it's just a matter if they're waiting for Irvine to play aggressive. Realize it's not going to happen. And with 30 seconds left on the clock, as a team, all skittering at once, going over to Seasight. Oh, man, and it's just going to be the Sage waiting on the other side. Sova and Rays do make the rotate. Those Cyber Cage goes out. The blindness comes out everywhere, but Platinum and Rayun waiting for that time to strike. All that's left is going to be Bunny Side, and Bunny Side couldn't make the cut either. Wallace win for Irvine coming out first. Yikes. You, Wait, know what you can like? really see you can really see why they beat out British Columbia. If that's the kind of thing they do, that's just smart setup, smart rotate, smart everything from the side of Irvine. The, this is the cleanest team we've seen so far. Just play the game to its fundamentals. This is high tier Valorant right here, folks. This is this is the stuff that you want to watch if you're trying to learn how to play. And you want to understand how to work with your team and just dig deep into why teams do certain things that might seem unorthodox. But if you really just take your time and think about it, it makes sense. And they're doing the same thing now. They've got two stacked up in garage and somehow, I don't know what they're thinking, but whatever the case is, it's a perfect read. They've got two attackers inside of mid and fo okay. One of them is rotating to garage actually. There's four oh, outside the of garage grenade. that raised. Oh God. That grenade That's... not going to get any kills, but lights up at least two different people, and holy crap, okay, almost another flawless round coming out from Irvine. Golden, have you ever watched Rocky IV? Um, I've heard of it. So, the premise is, you have Rocky, who is your main character, you have the guy that Rocky beats, who was once the world champion, and they're teamed up to get together to fight the Russians, the Soviets at that point, and this dude, the Soviet dude, he's all buffed up and like super like steroid heavy, and so when they go for the fight, they slam their um, fists against each other like the beginning of a boxing match, but when the Russian dude does it, it just makes Rocky's arms go all the way down to the floor. That's what Irvine is doing to Bur Berkeley right now. They, like, Berkeley's been so dominant so far, but Irvine might just have that edge over them that we didn't think was possible in this tournament. With that being said, though, we're seeing a C engagement in the beginning. A lot of Berkeley's holding C long. All there really is, I believe, is Ryun holding C site, awesome. and that might not be enough. JSU right now trying to get what? the penetration kill over window. Okay, 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 okay. And go zing or go home, able to stay on site patiently enough to get a triple kill on JSU. Buddy side taking down the stage and looter with a double kill. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. The stuff Irvine's doing is actually illegal. Like, well done from... Uh, yeah, it was Not JSU, wasn't it? It's over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we can't look at Moss files here. No. <laughs> it's not that illegal, but, like, it should... It, it, you gotta... Berkeley should not be allowing Irvine to do any of these things. Like, send him to the principal's office, because this, this is inhumane. Like, well done by JSU to take one back onto the window player. I guess that was a bit flashy, getting the kill through the wall, but, like... A retake from Irvine. Not, I mean, I say a I retake. Mean, I guess you walk back into sight. They didn't get the spike done. 
Looter though. Oh, Looter struggling a little bit, not getting that first kill. Bunny side taking advantage, oh but Nibbler God. with the double kill and Nibbler with uh... the Odin triple kill. Okay. No, okay. don't. That's that's not nice. That's not nice. I think they sold their soul to the devil to play really well. Oh my wow. I and you know what the crazy thing is? Berkeley's not mm -hmm. playing terrible at all. They're doing no. really well. It's just that wow it, it it's funny because it seems like and i could be wrong what irvine is doing is that they're swapping out a different ro main rotate flanker every single round so with nibbler last round i want to say it was go zinger go home well they kind of stayed on site but the premise is there the round before that and i think platinum was round one and oh my they know exactly how to set stuff up and like Look i said at... berkeley is not playing bad mm -mm. Look at the stuff Platinum's doing as well. You can tell this guy, again, I, I think I said this about JSU before, but, uh, excuse me, Platinum has been watching his VODs. He has been watching a lot of Sinatra, and he is playing that Sova to perfection. Look at what he's doing. Not only does he have the potential for wall hacks, but he's using that Odin to perfection through the walls, and JSU is going to be the one to fall to that, so it's the doppelganger Sova on the enemy team. He's got teammates to support as well. Can't just walk into C site without checking your corners. And the sage goes down, and yeah, just not. You don't see too many people that can make the Odin work and not have it be a meme. Usually, it's literally just a joke. But Platinum is making it look good. He's got another kill with the ultimate as well. The Hunter's Fury taking out Panda.com, and now S Poppy, one of the last remaining, or excuse me, the last remaining player. He's got no one else on his team, and being spammed on both sides of the walls by the Odin. Not only one, but two. Nibbler has one too. He hasn't died. They like it's <laughs> so hard to make that weapon work. But this team is so coordinated that they can actually just—they don't need him to move, so he can just anchor down in garage, or Nibbler can anchor down on A, and just click on anyone that happens to cross their the screen. And Platinum, technically, look look what he he did this last round too. He's been lining up this this recon bolt. I'm not entirely sure where it goes. I thought it was going into grass before, but it looks like he's aiming it towards garden, I'm pretty sure. So it, oh, it, if the attack goes too where... slow, then it's going to spot literally every single one of them, but they are actually aggressing pretty fast. They see the a cypher land, I don't think. Oh, wow. It, now it oh, landed. Wow. That, that's that the thing, was... right? That's the fact nasty. that stuff lands that late I means that exactly the defenders that actually have time to act on it. And now they, they gotta know, right? Since no one's there and no one's anywhere else, they must be already in A. And look at the gunfights. They're not, they're not happening. Ryun's got a pick and Looter's got two. As Poppy gets one back with a Molotov. And it looks like Ryun's actually burning as well. But thank goodness for him. He's staged and he's got the heal. But last two players alive. The Phoenix is lit up through a wall. Ryun shoots him and he goes down. And now Brimstone, the last one left alive, uses the Hellfire, but it doesn't. It's probably not gonna get anyone. Zig's got the flank on. And yeah, just the amount of information that that Sovadar is able to gain. Because there's nothing pushing down C-Long, because there's nothing in grass, there's nothing outside B, and the Sovadar sees nothing in garden, that must mean that there is only one location where the attackers can be, and it's either A-Long, A-Short, or pushed up into sight. And at that point, they have enough players inside of A to be able to fend off that rotation and just completely shut down that round and send Berkeley onto another eco round, 6-0 to zero down. That goes there. Berkeley, I'm sorry, Irvine is just playing out of their minds. They're doing stuff I've never even imagined of thinking of, especially that super delayed recon bolt. That is some actual pro league level stuff right there. That's like hypothetical Taz stuff. But Platinum, unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately, dodging the um, the old from <gasps> oh, no. and the bazooka double kill. What? I can't even do play-by-plays. -play this is too quick. Wow, seven and zero. Platinum is ten and one. We saw Thomas is what just about have that same score line. But mm -hmm. my this God, oh, this is a like the thing is when Thomas was playing, his teammates were more even, right? His teammates were kind of like they were they losing were their lives here and there. This time, not only is he ten and one, his teammate is seven and zero. Uh, pretty sure his other teammates are even farther above than that. And There's another one, certain. yeah. There, there are so many people that are just 
dominating and just not giving up their lives. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Look at him too. He's taking his camera back. He's playing so passive, but some it's just working because they're letting them run into their rifles. They're conserving their utility in an excellent way. And now the map control as well. Another The Sova sends the recon bolt every single round. So it's just getting free information and nothing's being done about it. This is insane. They must know their A again. They're, that's why they've stacked three players here. And based on the way they're winning their gunfights, what is Berkeley going to do if they just walk through the cypher cage? They don't check the corner. Looter's got two, Rayan's got another, and that's a spike down. Niddler with a frag through a wall even. And it just is, this is rude. Monish is getting spammed through boxes. Eight to zero. No signs of Berkeley having any kind of life in this map. You How? hate to see it. Oh, okay. I, just... I, I, you know, maybe Berkeley can bring it back in the second half. That's all I can really see. There is, it's impenetrable for Irvine. They're doing such a fantastic job. The really only thing I could say about Irvine maybe doing a little lackluster is their rotates, but they haven't really been in a position where they're threatened enough to make a full rotate either. You know, mm -hmm. you, you have Berkeley doing a full dedication to A, and then Looter himself can pretty much hold it completely. <laughs> and then you have Nibbler with the Odin on defense as well nearby, just able to secure whatever Looter can. Now, they're going to be going on Garage and B site. This could be the beginning of something different because... Oh, Nibbler, no. Nibbler with the kill and Looter with a double kill going to take down Monish and JSU. Wow. The Hellfire... What? <laughs> it's Looter and Nibbler, man. Looter and Nibbler are actually insane. I definitely see a very strong pro career coming out of for either of them. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I, I was... I have vehemently stopped wondering why British Columbia lost against this team. <laughs> yeah, and we thought British obvious. Columbia was crazy. Yeah, wow. I, I think Looter might be uh might be convincing me to run my cipher on B and just never play never play B. Yeah, I'm this thinking is, that too. This is brilliant, and it's like, what I I think Berkeley even tried B once, right? They tried it once, and it just didn't. It, of course, it didn't. they just did. Yeah, Whoa, this is not. God. It's not fair. It's Most it's not dead. fair. And Nibbler taking down Monish right off the bat. There goes your revive and your walls and your slows and heals off the sage. You still have a lot of utility left, but it's mostly just intel and fragging power. The blind comes oh out. Looter doesn't God. care. Looter with a double kill. Looter. How? With another double kill from his buddy Nibbler. It's Batman and Robin in Valorant. <laughs> You have literally an unstoppable duo between the two. Combined, they have three deaths. <laughs> and combined the top three, you have four deaths. And what was that, 44 kills? Wait, the, so 34. the entire team has actually died six times. The whole, no, okay, wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes. No, seven, oh seven, sorry. Seven times. Apologies, that's that, actually a big percentage of, of that number. <laughs> that is actually they, insane. What? They've died less times than they've won rounds. <laughs> it's across all the players. I like, think how is that signed, possible? If they signed on Thomas's what to Irvine's team, they could actually be a T1 team, I think. Or at least oh, so yeah. far. Ryundo taking down Monish. That's going to blind out Ryun, though. Ryun doesn't care, though. Ryun no. don't care. Takes down JSU, and there's going to be one more. And that's going to be yikes. Ryun trying to make the one more peek. And there we go. Take down the Phoenix ult. That's going to be Ziggs taking down Sophie. And oh my god, another flawless round. Uh, Holy crap. Uh, so 13 2, 11 0. <laughs> 11 1. 11. Oh, oh, yeah, 11 hard. 0 right now across the board. I get le there I I'm glad Okay now now he's running his stuff on A. This is weird. So they're switching it up. They haven't gone wrong, but they're still anti striding I don't know. They're they're still mixing it up, which is hilarious. Because right they don't even need to, but I, I don't doubt this will work. This is the standard setup that most people run on this map. Cypher Brimstone on A, you have a Sage on B, ready to wall at any time. Excuse me, no, I apologize. They actually ran this last time, so it already worked, so we know it works. They're doing We're it again. On Monish. I mean, I just want to sit and wait. The Hellfire coming out on Ryu is going to be making out of their position or backing out of it. That's going to allow B having a good chance to be pushed up now. Platinum.com <gasps> taking out Zig. That's big. Taking down I one of your top exactly fraggers, Ryun, though, and the alt going down as well. Ryun spotted out. 
Batman and Robin can't go for their flank anymore. We have to back off a little bit, and the C push is the way to go. We have Ryun watching it. That's going to be a strong angle from the back of C, going all the way down to the back of C site on the other side. Is it going to be enough? No, the smoke goes down. The spike for the first time so far it goes down. Ryun backs off. He's going to let someone else that doesn't have a sniper take over. Platinum's going to eco... I'm sorry, scout it out. Both to be powerful cyber kids going out. Ryu reviving Ziggs. It's back to being a flawless team. Oh, Platinum's looking around. He can't secure the kill. Funny side taking down Platinum. It's looking good for JSU. I know exactly. Nibbler and Looter, though, taking out Sopi and JSU. Panda.com with Ziggs. He's the last one alive. The Bakus going down and Looter securing on Panda. Batman and Rob would do it again. Oh, my good lord. 12 and 0 for UC Irvine over UC Berkeley. In the words of Katy Perry, California girls are unforgettable. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's a truly speechless match so far coming out from Irvine. Oh, that is undeniable. I actually, you know what I find funny? Because you, you, when Zig died, you said one of the top fraggers. Not only is he the bottom frag, but all of them are you, like you're not even wrong when you say that because all of them are fragging they're all top fraggers they're like yeah okay, you know you know in the end screen when you get when you finish your game and you have the scoreboard usually it's like all the team like you, it's mixed up right you see some red you see some blue you see some, yeah. like this one like it's all red it's and then close. there's a block of, block of green like it's just one on top of the other there's no mixing this is a this is not emulsified it is very much like an oil and water solution yeah, I would still say Raze is a top fragger just because she her utility is for fragging and she mm -hmm. hasn't had the opportunity. She is getting clean, clean kills already doing it. And they're on the other side right now. This is a pistol round. Ryu taking down Panda.com and JSU taking down Ziggs. The plant goes down. This is looking really solid for Berkeley. The rotate a little slow on Irvine's side. They do have Ryu going for what looks like a flank through garage. And that's about it. But keep in mind the Sova and the Brimstone on Berkeley's side hiding out in a little cubby on C Long. Cutting the uh, C Long. So they might be waiting for the flank, but that's not going to happen. The tripwire's there. It's all from the back of C and from Garage. And so far, Irvine is actually kind of struggling a little bit. Looter taking out JSU. Uh. And Bunny Side taking out Ryun. This could be it. Wow. 13 0. Irvine brought it home.